Hello, this is Venn diagram lesson 3.2. In this, I will continue with questions on three variable Venn diagram. Now, you, what you have to do, you have to pause the video and try to solve each and every question first by yourself, then look at the way I have solved. Now, directions for question 1 to 5. In a village, 60% of the students play football, 50% of the students play cricket and so on. Now, every data is given in percentage. Now we don't know the total number of the students in the village. So what to do? Can we assume any random number like 1000 or 5000 or 100? No. Because the last line, look at the last line, 100 students play none of the games. So we don't know exactly how many students are there. So what to do in such kind of question? Very important whenever the data is given in percentage, you have to assume the total number in some variable. So what we'll do? We will assume that total number of students in the village, let me make this rectangle, total number, in the, number of students in the village, let's say 100x. Now it's a question of three variables because three variables are cricket, hockey and football. So let's make a diagram of three variable. Now I have made the three variable Venn diagram, foot stand for football, CRI stand for cricket, HOC stand for hockey. 60% of the students play football. It means that 60% of total number of students are 100x. 60% of that will be 60x. So 60x play football, 50% play cricket. So 50x would be cricket, 50% of the play hockey. So 50x will be the hockey circle. Now 20% of the students play both football and Cricket. When I say both football and cricket, what will be the common reason? This I am making this red. This is the common reason of football and cricket. As I discussed in the previous lesson, this is the common reason of football and cricket. Now this there are two values. This will be x and this will be y. This total value x plus y that is 20x because 20% of the students play both football and cricket. Now we don't know what is X, what is Y, so we can leave that part. 25% play both hockey and cricket, very similar and 30% play both football and hockey. Look at the second last line. 5% of the students play all the three games. It means that Y is the reason, Y is the value uh, which comes in all the three circle or which is common to all the three circle. So that will be the 5% of the students who play all the three games. Now 5% of total 100x would be 5x. So y value will be equals to 5x. Now this is equals to 5x. This y value is equals to 5x. Now football and cricket, look at this 20%. 20% of the students play both football and cricket. Now football and cricket common reason total is 20% that is 20x. Now this is 5x, this should be 15x so that the total common of football and cricket becomes 20x that is 20% of the total. Same way 25% play both hockey and cricket. Now what is the common reason of hockey and cricket? When I say hockey and cricket, this is the common reason, this green circle I am making, this is the common reason of hockey and cricket. This is what value? This is 25% of total. That is 25x. So 5x is this. This will be 20x. Same way 30% play football and hockey. This complete region will be 30x. This will be 25x. Total common to both football and hockey is 30%. That is 30x. So this will be 25x. Now we can fill the other parts. Look at this cricket complete circle. This should be how much? This should be equals to 50x. Now 15 plus 5, 20, 20, 20, 40. This will be equals to 10x. Football complete circle should be 60x. So 25 plus 5, 30, 30 plus 15, 45. This would be 15x. Complete hockey should be 50. This is 25 plus 5, 30 plus 20x, 50x. So this would be 0. Now we need to find the none part, the students who play none of the games. Now students who play one, two or three games are all within the circles. So add all the values to the circle. Now this is 60x for football, 60x is a football circle. I am just adding all the values in the three circles. 
we know that football circle is 60x outside outside the football circle there are 10x plus 20x these are the only two values outside the circle of football and within the circle of cricket and hockey so total is 60x plus 20x 80x plus 10x 90x it means that the student who play one two or more game are 90x it means that student who do not play any of the game is 10x total we know that total must be equals to 100x so this was 10x and the last line given to us 100 students play none of the game so this 10x is 100 so from here i got x is equals to 10 once i got x is equals to 10 i can calculate each and every data in all these three circles now so we can easily solve the questions how many students are there in the village total students are 100 x we know the value of x that is 10 so answer is 100 into 10 thousand so total there are thousand students in the village how many students play exactly two games now exactly two games means 15 x 15 x are those who play cricket and football exactly two games 25 x are those who play exactly football and hockey and 20 x that is green who play exactly two game games cricket and hockey total if you add this 15 and 25 40 and 20 x 60 x we know the value of x that is 10 so this answer would be 600 600 will be the number of students who play exactly two game question number three how many students play exactly one game exactly one game means one either football or cricket or hockey now football exactly one game this is 15x who play exactly football one game cricket only 10x and none zero who play only hockey so if you add this this is 25x now you know the value of x that is 10 so answer would be 250 question number four how many students play neither cricket nor football it means that outside the circle of cricket as well as football neither cricket means outside the circle of cricket no football means outside the circle of football it means that we have to add all those values which are outside the circle of cricket as well as football now outside the circle of cricket and football if you see this is zero and then it is 10x these are the only two values this 10x and this zero are outside the circle of football and cricket so this will be equal to 10x and we know the value of x is 10 so this will be equals to 100 how many students play at most two games at most two means maximum two games so we will count those who play exactly two games or those who play exactly one game and those who play none of the game that is the meaning of at most two games now if you see this exactly two what is the number of students who play exactly two this is 25x pink color this is 15x brown and then 20x these are who play exactly two games exactly one game this is 15x who play only football this is 10x and this is zero and none is equals to 10x so if you this count this you will this will be equals to 95x or simply you can say, say that when I say that at most two games, it means that uh, all minus three games. Uh, we play all the three games. You can also do like this. Or you can simply add the values exactly two. This is a 40, 60 X. This is, this will be equal to 60 X. And this is 35 X total. Total would be 95 X. So 95 X means 950 will be the total number of students who play at most two games. Directions for question 6 to 8. Post the video, try to solve yourself, then look at the way I have solved. A locality of 1000 members was surveyed based on the newspapers they read. They read three newspapers, the Hindu, the Times of India and the Indian Express. Now it's a question of three variables, so let's, the, let's make it first the diagram. Now question is that a locality of total 1000 members, so this total value will be 1000. Three newspapers they read, 400 of them read the Hindu, this is total value is 400 the Hindu, 
600 of them read Times of India, that is TOI, this value is 600. I'm just writing outside. Uh, Indian Express, this third newspaper, i.e. Indian Express, 500 of them read the Indian Express. The total is 500. That was 600. Now, what the question says that, 100 of them do not re read any of the newspaper. So, it means that this will be outside the three circle 100 which is equals to those who read all the three newspaper this is also 100 all the three newspaper this region is also 100 now that is the, all the information is given to us let's see the question what the question are saying how many uh, read exactly two newspaper now as the diagram till this time we have filled uh, it's not possible to tell exactly two newspaper how many read so what we have to do we have to think something different now if you see this we can assume this value as look at this a this we can say that this is b this is c this is d this is e and this is f now what we have to do we have to uh, do some kind of calculations it's a bit different kind of question now if you add all the all the values in all the circles that must be equal to 900 because total uh, number of persons that are surveyed are 1000 outside the three circle value is 100 so it means that the value inside the three circles sum of all the values inside the three circle must be 900 if you add the values this will be a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus 100 this will be equals to 900 so can i say that a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f this value will be equals to how much 900 minus 100 800 that will be the one of the equation that will be formed now if you add the hindu complete circle we know the value of hindu complete circle TOI complete circle and Indian Express complete circle if you add all this value we know that Hindu complete circle is 400 times of India complete circle is 600 and Indian Express complete circle is 500 if you add all the three values this will give you 1000 plus 500 1500 this is equals to if you add all the values in the Hindu the Hindu it means that a plus d plus e plus 100 if you add this a plus d plus e plus 100 that is the value of the hindu toi times of india would be how much can i say that i'm just writing here this will be equals to times of india i'm just make adding here times of india will be b plus d plus f plus 100 and your indian express value will be e plus 100 plus f plus C. Now, if you add all this, what you will get is second equation. This total will be equal to 1500. Now, if you add this, A, B, and C will come only one times. Can I say this is A plus B plus C plus twice of D plus E plus F plus 100 is coming three times. This is 300. This is equal to 1500. Now, solve this, what you will get. Can I say that I am just writing equation then I will solve this question a plus b plus c plus twice of d plus e plus f plus 300 uh, 1500 minus 300 will be 1200 that will be my second equation a plus b plus c twice of d plus e plus f so what I have done I have simply add all the numbers in the Hindu all the numbers in TOI and all the numbers in Indian Express that I that gave me second equation now simply solve first and second equation what you will get look at this first equation a b c d e f is equal to 800 and second equation uh, if you solve these two equation that is second minus first if you solve second minus first what you will get so due to lack of space i'm just calculating second minus first if you subtract the first equation from the second a b c and a b c a plus b plus c would be cancel out twice of d plus e plus f minus d plus e plus f you will left with only one times d plus e plus f that would be equal to 400 so can i say that this value d plus e plus f this is equals to 400 
I'm just writing with the this black. This value is 400. This value D plus E plus F. This value is 400. Same way, if total is 800, simply means that A plus B plus C value is also 400. 400 plus 400 is 800. And if this value is 400, this twice of 400, 800, this will make 1200. Now we can answer all the questions that are there in this set. How many read exactly two newspaper? Now when I say exactly two newspaper, it means that D plus E plus F. D are the number of uh, persons who read exactly two newspaper, the Hindu and Times of India. E means the persons who read exactly two newspaper, Hindu and Indian Express. F means those who read Times of India and Indian Express exactly two newspaper. So exactly two newspaper, this will be D plus E plus F, answer would be 400. So answer would, for this question would be equals to 400, question number 6. Question number 7 is uh, in the bottom of your screen. How many students uh, read exactly one newspaper? How many students read exactly one newspaper? This will be equals to A plus B plus C. This will be equals to A plus B plus C. And this value will be 400. Question number 8. How many read ex at most two newspaper? At most two means exactly two, exactly one and none. Exactly two newspaper means D plus E plus F. Uh, and exactly one means A plus B plus C. You can uh, see the diagram. Exactly two means D plus E plus F. Exactly uh, one means A plus B plus C and none miss 100 this none value is 100 so if you solve this this is 400 plus 400 plus 100 this will be equals to 900 and that will be your final answer so that was all about this lesson thank you